so let's try if the sound is coming or not so you can i hope you can now listen to two music one from the phone and another from the pc you can so you can see all the things here so this is how you can just stream with your sound you can see that i have zero in my volume but you can still listen to the music In my last video I show how you can just mirror your phone screen to your PC without any software using Windows default casting system. I have linked the video in the description you can check this video. But in today's video I will show you another method and I am using USB cable and this method is very good and totally lag free there is no lag. Using this method you can also stream internal sound through this screen mirroring system and this completely free and this is open source project and I have also add the link in the description to download all the source file that we need in this tutorial so don't let me check out today's video so guys to follow this tutorial you need to download some file from the description given link there are two links one is from the official site and another is i have created a mirroring pack like this one you can just directly download this from the dropbox file manager and after downloading you, you when you open this you will get a file like this there is a vlc media player and two zip files so you need to unzip these two folder this is the two open source project that uh, we found on github and using these two method you can just stream and mirror your phone skin directly to your phone directly to your pc without any software or any other things and this is completely free and we are using usb cable that means zero lag and you can also get sound using this so first of all you need to open the top folder here you can see a file that name is scrcpy application file this is the main file that will work the skin mirroring system before we start this application we need to do one thing let's jump into our mobile phone and see what we need to change there is some changes we need to make in our android phone so first of all you need to go to your settings and from here you need to go to your devices and from devices you need to go the all specs so when you go to the all specs here you can see name that is miu version so to enable the developer option you need to click on the miu version for 8 or 10 times then it will automatically enable the developer version you can see i have already as a developer so no need you are already a developer so this is not necessary for me now we need to go back to the settings now from here you need to go to additional settings and from here you need to go to developer option so when you go to developer option this might be look like this one when you first time open the settings it will be turned off like this so you need to click on here and enable the developer option from here and then go to the below this option here you can see this option and you need to turn on this one and when you click on this it will show you a notification and you just need to click on ok and it will automatically enable now what you need to do you just go back to your computer so before going back to your pc you need to insert a usb cable and then the other part of the cable into connect to your pc now you can see i have insert a usb cable in my phone and it will show some option so we do not select any of those options we just need to click on cancel so that's it now we go back to our pc and see how to enable this so now you can see we have two different folder here and we need to open the first one the scrcpy first of all we need to open this one to mirror the screen to the windows so we just double click here and open this file now we need to click here the scrcpy so when we double click here you can see some work is ongoing and there you go we have successfully mirrored our screen now if i move on my phone you can see the live is streaming and there is no lag zero lag because you are using a usb cable and this cable is too little and the data transfer rate is so high so there is no chance of lag if you use some wi-fi or any other things then it might be lag so i just try some games here so now i will open a game and show you how you can actually get the resolution size or any other things so i am playing the mobile legends here i just click on this and you can see automatically the screen rotated to make this full screen you just need to click here to maximize the screen as full resolution so i just click here and you can see our game is starting and the lag is zero because we are using the usb cable no router or any other wi-fi settings we are using the usb cable so the lag is totally zero no lagging so now the problem is you can listen to 
the sound that this sound is just coming from my microphone not from the inside so in this video i will also show how you can enable the sound in this game so let's go back to our pc so now you need to exit the uh, scr cpy i have just closed this one so now you need to go back to the another folder if i go back there and you can see there is another folder that name is sndcpy so i just need to open this one and here you can see there is a apk file we need to install this one inside our phone so now jump to our phone and show you how to install this one so here you can see i have copied the apps that i show in the folder the sndcpy.apk here you can see this file so i just click on the apk file and it will come to this page to install the apps i just click on install and it will take a few moments and the install will be complete this is very simple installation so then you need to click on the open and when you click on the open it will show some notification that uh, s and d cpy will start capturing everything on that display so you need to click on the start now and next option you will see that allow s and c deploy flowing permission record calls and audio so this is the thing that we use to import sound from this phone to our pc so you need to click on the allow all the time now again come back to our pc we have two folders as you can see these two folders so this time we need to connect the usb cable again to our phone and this one we are going to use for the sound file and this one for the streaming file so first of all we need to open again the streaming and the mirroring file and again just uh, click on this file and start mirroring now you can see that our phone is not showing inside our display and again we need to go back to our another folder from here i show you this folder from here so we just go to this folder and now we just need to click on this file sndcpy the windows bat file and we just double click here and it is checking is our file is running and up you can see that now we have a new pop-up window in our phone so we just need to start now from our phone and here you can see there is a text written please enter once audio capture is authorized in the device and start to playing so we just need to press enter from the keyboard one time so i just press enter so now you can see that now it's showing that playing audio so that means we can just listen to audio from our phone directly to our mirroring setup so i just try this one so i just go to youtube or not uh, we can just play our games from here and check if the sound is coming or not so i just go to my mobile legends remember that we need to just open these two windows at the same time first up we need to open this one and again this one So let's try if the sound is coming or not so you can i hope you can now listen to two music one from the phone and another from the pc you can so you can see all the things here so this is how you can just stream with your sound you can see that i have zero in my volume but you can still listen to the music so this is the live test how you can just stream with the sound so i just close this game but there are some limitation in this as you might want to stream the pubg mobile game but the problem is these settings do not allow pubg to stream this is the main backside i hope this will update in future i have added the source link in the description you can use the link to make sure if there any update come or not so this is the problem i hope you guys understand so if you like the video hit the like button and if you have any question to set up this one uh, just let me know in the comment section. I will try to help you as much as I can. See you on the next video. Till then, stay happy, stay blessed.